What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic for another episode of the Hover City, and I'm super excited because I finally got this massive Hover City project done. This is the biggest Hover City section so far, um, definitely the heaviest, definitely the biggest. It's got tons of features, so we're going to get right to it. It is the Hover City Hospital. So, we've got a little ambulance here as well. Um, I've decided from now on that all future Hover City vehicles are going to use suspension glitch steering. And the reason behind this is it's a lot easier to make suspension glitch steering and you can see that the car can rotate on the spot for those tight Hover City corners. But not only that, it takes up a lot less space to do it that way with suspension glitch. So you can see the front wheels are just going to be left no front wheel drive at all. The front wheels are just going to be left completely stationary and the back wheels will be given the drive and that way when you turn it'll kind of pivot about the back wheels. And it works pretty well. So you can see here we've got a little bit of an ambulance. Um, I kind of like the look of it. I'm not terribly happy with the front end. I'd rather it stick out a little bit more, but it is a hover city, so the vehicles have to be kind of small. So it took a little bit to kind of shrink that down and still get the proportions, but I think it looks okay. It got the little uh, sign there. And then, of course, in the back, we got a little bit of a sort of concrete stretcher. We've got a little bit of a table here, some lights, and uh, some, I don't know, jars of something, I guess. And then, of course, a seat for your nurse or whoever. Now, just to give you sort of a pretense, there is a lot going on here. The hospital is a massive building. It is a three-story building plus the rooftop with rooftop access. Um, it's also got 141 thrusters, I believe, something like that. So it really, this was just a massive, like if we look underneath here, this is just absolutely ridiculous, the number of thrusters this thing needs to fly. But just like every other thing in the Hover City, it is completely self-sufficient. It also has backup thrusters, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't need because there's a very, very, very small section of road here, as you can see. So we're going to take this, we're going to put it up on the lift, and we are going to weld the ramp to it real quick. Just so we can get the ambulance on now. You can obviously weld the ambulance straight on to the uh, hospital. You can put down a few blocks and then weld them up and do it that way, but uh, I'm going to do it this way, and then we're going to weld this one to this, and we're going to start hovering. So I did turn uh, particles off, mainly because the particles on this many things won't render anyway, so it's pretty pointless to do it, only half will render, it looks kind of silly. But uh, I did turn particles off because it was a little bit ridiculous, and there you can go. We have the hospital plus ramp, so we're going to get up here. Isn't that the deploy ramp button? There it goes. Perfect. Get up that lift. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Come on. Get the back wheels up. There we go. Just got to kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit. So you can see with the suspension glitch uh, steering, it's a lot easier to navigate through the hospital. Oh, we are going the wrong way. Let's just... Or not the hospital, sorry. It's a lot easier to navigate on top of the uh, concrete here. We can line up here with the hospital and we'll just go inside here and take a quick tour. We're just going to get rid of the items here. In the... So it's a pretty uh, standard hospital. It's built on a corner section. So it just has a really, really small section of road here. It would just go in and out on the Hover City, uh, mainly because the hospital is very, very big. So this is a massive structure. And I can guarantee you that ramp is not providing any support and there's no stabilization glitches or anything like that. It's all vanilla awesome. So there you go, we'll pull that ramp back up. So we'll just get in here into the hospital so you can see we can uh, step on the little sensor here, automatic doors on the front. And uh, over here we've got sort of a waiting room with a nice vending machine. Now the vending machine doesn't work or anything, it is just aesthetic. Um, and then a nice little reception desk of course, which, you know, need a receptionist of some kind at a hospital and uh, just some controllers and stuff hidden behind there for some doors for the reception desk of course there is access for the ambulance which is the garage here and then on the other side you can open that door up and so you could if you have a critical emergency take your ambulance open the doors up on the back and if you perfectly there you go you can see it perfectly fits in there and you would back it up and then go into the hospital and you would get your people out. Now it is really cramped, obviously it would have been better to have sort of like a actual loading thing, like a full out garage or something. Uh, but regardless, this is sort of like a multi-purpose garage slash non-garage thing. And there's a button on the inside there to open these doors in case you uh, aren't able to access that switch. But overall, this is the first floor hospital. It's got a reception desk and then of course, a uh, big nice wide hallway there. 
I haven't made any stretchers or anything like that, uh, mainly because it's on the Hover City and everything would have to be spawned with it, so I didn't want to have to have all this stuff that you break off. And then in the back here, we've got sort of uh, what I like to consider the ER. So it's just sort of like one of those multi-purpose hospital rooms that has like, you know, multiple, not beds, but multiple sort of uh, surgeon's tables, I guess, whatever they're called. So, you know, this would be your ER. And I stole a book from, a uh, page from Komodo's book, and uh, I took his idea for using the pipe pieces as fake curtain rods. There isn't really an easy way to make curtains in this without taking up a ton of space with blocks. So I figure, you know, we'll put the fake curtain rods on just like Komodo and kind of, you know, take the page from his book. See if he notices. He probably will, but that's okay. No hospital uses stairs, so we've got an elevator as well. It kind of thumps around back in there, but that's okay. So you can see the elevator doors open. I originally was going to do sliding doors on this, but you can already see there is a fair amount of lag already as is. Um, again, the new engine has come out, but they're still working through the testing phases. So the new engine is out in test, sorry. And they're still working through the testing phases. Now it's really promising because the devs are super, super active about it. Uh, but for now, there are a bunch of features that are missing in the new test branch. So I've decided to continue running the vanilla until they fix that and continue building the Hover City section by section. And then hopefully one day, Fingers crossed, we'll get to the point where everything can be wired up and it'll be fantastic. Um, but we do have an elevator. We've got a four floor elevator, uh, mainly because the fourth floor is the roof. So we'll go to the second floor here. Doors will automatically close. It kind of wobbles a bit. We are hovering and we are using pistons while hovering. So I mean, you know, we just rode an elevator on top of a hospital that's hovering. So up here on the second floor, um, we've got some cool stuff. So we've got an operating room back in here, like a sort of a surgery room, I guess, with a little bit of a sink, a single table, some lights on some sort of, you know, piston thingies, some like stand lights, I guess, to help with the operating table. And then another table over here. And then of course the controller to adjust your lights and some nice windows. And we are, we're getting pretty high up there. We are hovering still with the Hover City. And then of course there is the, uh, the operating room. So again, all the doors using the, uh, the lovely con control button method. So I really like that method. So I wired them all up that way. And of course, that's why this project just kind of took a little bit of time to get this hospital done. It is all concrete and brick too, which just made it more of a nightmare because it's super, super heavy. But I really, I felt that doing this all with wood just wouldn't do the hospital justice. And then of course, open this door and this is just a set of patient rooms. So you can see we've got some beds here nicely laid out with some of those lovely pillows, some little stands. And then of course the lovely curtain rod from Komodo and then you know a radio. Now when you get over into this section, uh, this is where the actual washrooms are. So we've got a male and female washroom. I actually built the whole hospital and then realized, oh crap, I never actually put washrooms anywhere. So this was kind of an afterthought, but it worked out well because there's sort of a little lobby area in here and that's because this is sort of like a doctor's office. So within the hospital, there's sort of like a clinic cause I'm not gonna actually build just a little small standalone clinic. So I figure, you know, it had this little doctor's office built right into the hospital and that'd be kind of nice. And uh, I don't know if I've seen that before, but we're gonna pretend like I have. So the second floor again, not too much there. Could take the stairs again. We're gonna go back in the elevator. We're gonna take the third floor. Kind of flop past it a little bit. Third floor doors open, perfect. So the third floor is really, really nice. It's got this nice balcony. I've been to a few hospitals where they have this sort of like concrete terrace up in the uh, hospital wing. So I thought that was kind of nice, you know, little bench out here if you're, uh, the patients need to get some air or whatever. But I, but I thought it was really, really nice to have this sort of balcony and uh, really appreciate, you know, the view overlooking the giant empty desert. Come back in there. We've got another patient room up here. So again, same layout as the one downstairs. Uh, no radio this time, just some extra jars, but uh, pretty much the exact same layout. We've got the curtain set up with some lights and the, uh, the beds there, nothing too fancy. And then back in here, I really like this room. This is sort of the, uh, I guess it's the, called an MRI. And so I decided to make an MRI machine and really not much. I mean, it is just for show. You got the sort of the machine here. The bed doesn't slide in or out because again, dealing with the lag, I tried to reduce as many moving parts, but if you turn it on, you can sort of hear that tone, let you know that the machine's running. And then on top of it, the light out here comes on to let people know not to enter the room because the MRI machine's running. So that's kind of cool. I really like that, but uh, nothing too much here. Just a desk in this room, I guess, for the, uh, the operator or whoever you would be. And then again, another patient room. And then finally, we get up to the fourth floor. And the fourth floor isn't really a floor of the hospital. It's a roof and it's got a helipad. 
Now back here, we've got the elevator controls. The elevator is actually on a really simple set of controls and I never painted that button. We'll paint that real quick. But the elevator is actually on a really simple set of controls. These memory bits here store which floor you want to go to. And then depending on, it's a little bit of a mess to look at, I know. But depending on which floor you want to go to will determine which one of the three controllers you need to have active. So there's three sets of pistons. So when you go to the fourth floor, no controllers are active. When you go to the third floor, one is. When you go to the second floor, two are. And when you go to the third floor, three are. Or to the first floor, sorry, three are. And that's basically how it goes. The pistons are all stored up here in the top. And they just push the elevator down and they retract it back up. So what that actually means is if you go from the fourth floor to the first floor... That takes the same amount of time as if you go from the 4th floor to the 3rd floor. So if you go down to 1, it's going to go really fast. Which you can see it does. Now, ideally you would put a sequencer on it and you would have it delay each of the floor steps. So that, you know, you don't get this crazy fast elevator which then glitches into stuff and lags out. Oh goodness. Oh goodness, we're doing something weird. You don't want to go from the 4th floor to the 1st floor with the elevator. Because chances are it will glitch into the concrete like that. It'll just sort of glitch through the floor. And you'll end up with what I just experienced there. Which is just an absolutely awful thing. So generally you want to go like one or two floors at a time. It is pretty awesome though. I really really like it. I like the fact that there is now an elevator on the Hover City that's within a building. Um, so again I'll probably make another building. Like I actually want to start looking at trying to make a skyscraper on the Hover City. I know it's going to be a little difficult. And of course... This helipad is sort of pretensing to what the next build is going to be. I'll let you guys guess what that's going to be in the comments, but I did make a helipad here, and if you notice, I don't have a helicopter yet. And I also don't have anywhere from for the helicopter to come from or go to. You know, potentially a place where there could be more helicopters, and maybe even some sort of small planes, like the microjet. You know, there's, a, there's usually a place where those things collect. But uh, overall, I'm super happy with this build. So there are a few things I am going to change on it before I put it up to the workshop. Uh, I might add like a wheelchair and a stretcher, maybe some stuff like that. I've also rebuilt the forklift for the warehouse. So that will be up on the workshop as well. Um, I know it's been a bit of a delay between Hover City builds. Honestly, I was trying to wait a little bit to see if the new engine was going to be like on release, like the new test branch, the engine was going to be like, boom, all the frame radiuses are fixed. Now, that was probably hoping for a bit too much. I know they are working on it and they do say they have a plan to help optimize the game even further than what it is. So make sure you give the devs your support. Um, I definitely am for sure 100%. I think they're doing an absolutely great job. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. It really, really helps out the channel absolutely so much. So much more than you have no idea. So hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time.